good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm ready, Steve. Thanks. So first thing is first, I want everybody to turn to somebody near you and however you travel the trails, whether it's hiking or biking or motorbike is what I call them or horseback or whatever, tell them how you travel the trail. You guys do a lot of stuff. So I bet everyone here, I think everyone would like to think that they all, you know, exercise good trail etiquette. But the truth of the matter is, and I guess based on my interactions with all the people I asked, um, that is not necessarily the case. So when I reached out to many people, these are some of the answers when I asked, what does trail etiquette mean to you? And just note, there's a lot of poo on there, which was interesting. <laughs> and so one of the big things that came up was people calling out dog owners. So trust me when I say this, because it seems like Bozemanites are, um, don't really like us to inhibit their dog ownership. But it's a real thing, dog ownership, responsible dog ownership. So that is real. And Speaking of dog ownership, responsible dog ownership, we don't have the pink poo fairy in Bozeman. It, the fairy doesn't pick up all of this poo for us magically. So if you're a dog owner, pick up your dog poo, bag it, and then don't just, don't leave it there. Pick it up and take it out with you. And speaking of the brown mushy stuff, if the trails aren't ready, then don't travel on them. Whether you're a hiker, biker, horse, it doesn't matter. This um, stick to the in-town trails or dirt roads or go to your annual yoga class that you attend. Uh, another response was camping etiquette. So some of the basics, you know, fireplaces, pit toilets, they are not garbage disposals for the record. And speaking of picking up your own dog poo, you should learn how to take care of your own. That was another really big response. So leavenotrace.org is a great place to start. And on your way to the trailhead, I'm sorry if you have a Tahoe, it was just a random choice. Um, on your way to the trailhead, just stick to the speed limits. Uh, don't dust out the neighborhood, it's not appreciated. And when you're parking, make sure that you don't take up the whole parking lot. It's key. How many of you, of you have seen this? Like the little yield signs, probably a lot of you. So, um, as much as I would like to stand here and go over what the sign means, uh, yielding arrows aside, what it really comes down to is courtesy and respect and sharing the trails, being mature adults. And just like being a responsible dog owner, which might be hard for some of us, there are a few basics that we should stick to, um, that we should always keep in mind no matter what. And one of those is or our horses. And I don't know if you realize this, but they're alive, they're huge, and they will squish you. So when you see horses on the trail, always have the same kind of etiquette, no matter what. Um, always yield to them, stay on the downhill side of the trail, if you can. Don't hide behind trees, that's not a good, a good thing. And ask the owner if there's anything you can do. This sign here, two-way traffic. If you're going uphill, people should yield to you. So make sure you yield to people going uphill. This is really important. It's a lot easier coming downhill, knees aside, than going up. It doesn't matter if you're hiking or biking or what. Yeah, so a couple summers ago, I did a lot of hiking and I yielded to a ton of mountain bikers. And now that I'm back on my bike, I realize that I, I don't assume that people are going to yield for me, but when they do, I'm really grateful, and I slow down, and I say, thanks. And this guy, don't be this guy here. So when you're on the trails, just be aware of your surroundings, take an earbud out, make sure you can hear those around you. And when you're approaching others on the trail, give them plenty of notice. Don't come right up on their butt and just expect them to move out of your way. And I don't know if many of you have either witnessed this um, or heard about it, but it is a thing. Placing items in the middle of the trail is not okay. So if you have situations where you're not happy with the trails, 
Don't put things in the middle of the trail to block others. It's not safe at all. It's not okay. Um, and with, the, well, with, sorry, with these things in mind, if you normally bike, I encourage you to go out for a hike and just try and watch all the mountain bikers come past you. You know, go wander around the woods on a horse, but see what it is to yield as the other person. I think that's really key and we could all learn a lot. But this, in this area, I'm sure we've all heard this, this is our backyard. And it is our backyard and everyone has an equal right to enjoy this area. So make sure that you practice good trail etiquette. Lead by example. Not everyone knows the rules, so show them the way. And this is a great picture. GVLT has an awesome trail ambassador program. Uh, Jeff up here is a great volunteer. They provide maps and information, they answer questions, but they pass on the trail etiquette love. So I really encourage anyone, if you're curious, just look, look up the program or better yet, get involved. And as far as trails go, thousands of hours of man, manpower go into this, and woman power, uh, go into maintaining the trails. It's not just bikers, it's hikers, horses, motorbikes, or dirt bikes. We all um, lend to the degradation of trails, so we should all be concerned and want to be involved. And a reminder, everyone, courtesy and respect and sharing. I know that we've all learned that since a very young age. And the yield signs on, or the arrow signs on a yield sign, they don't dictate the hierarchy. Like, we all have a right to be here, so just keep that in mind. And thank you.